Welcome to the video. So today we've got this excavator bucket in here for my John Deere 35G excavator. And it is a tooth bucket for ditching. It's 12 inches wide. What I wanna do is I wanna make this a smooth bucket. So let's see if we can modify this. And I've got some leftover cutting edge when I replaced the cutting edge on my Case 450C bulldozer. And what I'm thinking is I can take a piece of this old cutting edge and weld it across these teeth and make a smooth bucket. The reason I want a smooth bucket is I did two jobs last year trenching and one was digging up an old pipe and I ended up running one of these teeth right through that pipe, which wasn't a big deal because we were gonna replace it anyway. But I think I can make a smoother trench and also be able to maybe follow along pieces of pipe or anything else with a smooth edge easier than with these teeth. So let's try it out. It'll also be nice to have a very smooth bottom of that trench when I'm doing my trenches instead of these furrows that are left by these teeth. On this project, I'm gonna use my Plasma 65 plasma cutter to cut a new piece of cutting edge that'll be square. And then I'm gonna use my Mig Max 215 to weld this uh, plate on. I'm also gonna use 035 flux cord gas shielded wire to weld this on and then to make it just last forever hopefully i've got some blue demon hard facing arc welding rods and i'm going to hard face this just to see how that goes i've never done that before so follow along let's check it out this stitching bucket is 12 and a quarter inches wide and the teeth go straight on it this end bit that i had from this cutting edge was rounded off pretty good so i went ahead and cut a new piece out of the middle section of that cutting edge Man, I love that plasma cutter. I'm really trying to live by the motto that if a welding project's worth doing, it's worth cleaning. So I spent a, quite a bit of time cleaning all the paint and mill scale and everything off of these pieces that I'm gonna weld together. Just trying to give myself every opportunity to be successful. The next critical point was getting this thing put on here totally square and trying to minimize any places where it didn't fit quite right just so that it'd be much better weld. I'm really getting comfortable with this dual shield or flux core gas shielded wire. I'll tell you what, they call it 7018 on a spool. I don't know if it's that good, but it works awfully well for me. I struggled a little bit with these vertical welds and I can stick weld vertical a little bit better maybe, but there were six vertical welds that I did on this bucket and I was happy with four of them and two of them I wasn't that happy with. One of them I ground off and redid.
this vertical weld turned out really good. And by the time I did that one, I was like, man, I'm really getting the hang of this. And then I think the next one was the worst one I did. So, oh well, it's a learning process. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing these projects. You learn a tremendous amount when you pick up something and go to work. Now this is my comfort zone. When you put that wire in a horizontal manner with that gas shielded flux core wire, other than the fact that I'm standing on a step stool and got one leg on the Harbor Freight welding table, but I'll tell you what, these horizontal welds, I feel like a welding hero. Ha! So all these welds that I did flat, they came out really good. And I think if I was going to do this project again, I would go through the trouble of positioning that bucket so that all of these welds were done in a horizontal, flat manner. It just would have come out a little bit better. But oh well, like I said, you can't always flip everything around. So got to learn sometime. And I learned a lot. These are the Blue Demon 532nd hard coating rods. So if you're going to hard face something for a dirt engagement edge, cutting edge, or crushing edge, anything like that, these rods can put a bead on there, which will save the wear and tear on the plate underneath them. The only thing with them is they're stick weld. And as a stick weld, this box costs 50 bucks, but you can buy this stuff on a spool but those spools are over $200. So if I hard face anything, it's gonna be with welding rods. One of the things that I've figured out is I'm not that good of an arc welder. I can end up using the MIG welder a whole lot better. But I got these things out and tried them out. I've got a bigger project coming up where I'm gonna use a bunch of these. And I'll tell you what, I was incredibly impressed with how well these things ran. And I had my trouble starting a little bit and stuff. I'd arc up and it'd die. I long arced it a few times and I put the arc out by pushing a little too hard a couple times, but I'll tell you what, my arc welding's gotten better somewhere and these rods were pretty easy to weld with. I was real impressed with how this came out. Not to blow my horn too much though. <laughs> So I ran a bead along the bottom of this edge and then I just did kind of a tic-tac-toe pattern or I don't know just some rectangles on it and stuff and that's what I've seen on how they do that sometimes they do X's and stuff but anyway I ran this rod it was 530 seconds and I ran it on 150 amps and they said the upper limit on it was 160 and you could run it between I think it said 130 to 160 I just picked 150 because it was easy to set and it ran good.
I bought a welder's markers pencil that I saw on Amazon, and I'd been using a soapstone, and IC Weld actually says he doesn't like using soapstones on his projects. I think it leaves some kind of residue or something. But anyway, so I've got this welder's pencil, and it has a lead that is like reflective. So when you're cutting or running a bead along it, supposedly it doesn't leave a residue that can mess up your weld at all. But the big thing is, man, it like almost glows under that arc light. So anyway, I like it. And that was what enabled me to make these straight lines was I just marked them out with that pencil and followed along. And there it is. So that's that Blue Demon hard facing uh, electrode. It's 532nd arc welding electrode. And I did that with my little titanium stick 225. Welding the plate on, I used the Vulcan MIG Max 215. And I used the titanium plasma 65 to cut that piece. I think it came out pretty well. All right, well, that's going to do it for this project. I'll tell you what, that came out really well. And I was a little intimidated about using that electrode hardening, hard facing rod from Blue Demon just because I'm not that good of an arc welder. But honestly, that stuff laid down good. And either I've gotten better at arc welding or just got lucky. But I filled in the three holes that were the bolt holes for this cutting edge and got this all done. So I think it'll stay on there and it'll make it easier to make a smooth bottom of a trench or to follow along a pipe without crushing it with one of those teeth. So I like it. If you got anything out of this video, give us a thumbs up. It absolutely helps the channel. And we invite you to subscribe to see more. Have a great day and be safe. I had to open these doors. I filled this place with, I had every smoke detector going. <laughs> anyway, have a good one y'all.